Among the people uh, caught in the gunfire, dozens of Southern Californians. And many are telling their stories of survival. Now, of the 15 Southern Californians who lost their lives are a special education teacher, a Disneyland employee, and a war hero. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live at the Manhattan Beach Police Department where a memorial has been set up. Cara? Good morning, Jeff. Manhattan Beach now mourning two of their own. Here at the police department, Rachel Parker used to work in this front lobby. Her co-workers say she brightened everyone's day with her smile. Behind us, you can see some of the flowers that have been left here, uh, some pictures as well at a growing memorial to her. We've got some other pictures to show you of the 33-year-old. She was off duty with co-workers at that concert when she was shot. Paramedics rushed her to the hospital, but doctors were not able to save her. A Manhattan Beach police officer she was with was shot, too. He is expected to be okay. Parker had worked with this department for 10 years. At the same time, this community is mourning a special education teacher, and we have a picture to show you of Sandy Casey. She'd worked with the Manhattan Beach School District for nine years, nurturing a close class of 16 children. And there was uh, just a great deal of love in the classroom. You can feel it. There was humor in there. There was caring in there. Our message to families is uh, to love your kids hard. Survivors of the Las Vegas massacre are also coming home, trying to cope with the horrors they experienced. Assistant Fire Chief Steve Tresk was with his wife at that concert. They heard the gunfire, took off running. One bullet hit him uh, in the arm, another grazed his back. He still managed to grab eight other people and direct them to safety. And as we were running with our backs to the Mandalay Bay, um, we could hear the, the rapid fire of the rifle coming right by us. And Jeff and Sharon, a lot of support now pouring in from the community here in Manhattan Beach. We can tell you that there will be officers from other departments here filling in on shifts so that the people here have some time and space to mourn. And we also know that at the school today where that teacher died, there will be counselors on hand to help the staff and the families. Support and love is what these victims need and survivors need as well. We are hearing from a young Orange County survivor this morning. 21-year-old Mackenzie Lane was shot in the ankle. Her boyfriend helped carry her away from the concert. And when she finally got medical help, she realized just how lucky she was. When I was running and when I was holding him and I was looking behind him, there were bodies like everywhere. I got inside and there were people holding their necks. There was people holding their, like their, like the back of their heads. And I looked at, I looked at the ambulance and I looked at the EMTs and I said, I don't need to be here. Like you need to take care of these people. Lane is now recovering at her uncle's house in Las Vegas.